so why not enjoy it? The weekend is just packed with things to do. Jake Peterson begins with a cool new pedal boat around town. Ah, a relaxing day on the bay tops our list of springtime activities. This looks like it might become strenuous in a few minutes, but my boating partner Nancy assures me it won't. This is the evolution of the pedal boat. So I always tell people it's not your grandfather's pedal boat anymore. Nancy Frenetti is the manager of Energy Mobility. She says this Bionics pedal boat is being powered partly by us and partly by a battery powered motor. We're going about five miles per hour without breaking a sweat. You're pedaling and then you have this assistance. So it allows you, if there's a wind that comes up, it allows you to get through it and keep going. Essentially, I can leave all the heavy lifting to Nancy and the boat. So if I just wanted to stop and let you do all the work? No problem. All right, this is even better now. <laughs> I better not fall asleep at the wheel. We're running into some rough currents, but the boat still handles smoothly. These Biotics boats are now on the market, or you can come to the St. Pete Marina and rent one for the afternoon. So what else is there to do this weekend? If you're anywhere near downtown St. Pete, you're sure to hear the rumble of the Honda Grand Prix. If you want to be near the action, but not in the center of it, you might try a perch atop the St. Pete Pier for a bird's eye view. Or head down the road to the Pinellas County Fair, underway in the parking lot of Tropicana Field. In Tampa, the Gasparilla International Film Festival serves up a list of flicks to go see. And a celebrity alert, you might spot actor Colin Farrell around town. Another celebrity, singer Alicia Keys, will be performing at the Tampa Bay Times Forum on Sunday. Have a great weekend. For The List, I'm Jake Peterson.